Hello everyone, welcome to our live stream here in the World of Wisdom and Spiritual Adventure Romania page. How to deal with low vibe people is our today's topic, a very interesting topic. Uh, many people lately were talking about this with me, asking similar questions. So I have decided, together with many other things that we are teaching in our school, to include also this knowledge about how to deal with uh, this kind of situations where we meet and have to deal with low vibration people. So, it's a very big topic, it's not something like very simple in the sense that we can say one, two, three things and that's it. Yes, uh, the first thing that we need to speak about is to understand how we understand that there is a low vibe person. What is the point? Why we need to know something and uh, when we need to have some knowledge about this. Okay, so wh when, the first question, when meeting a low vibe person becomes negative for us and really is detrimental for our well-being and for anything to understand this and know how to deal with it. It happens when this kind of meeting with a low vibe person puts us outside of our vibe. Okay, so when you meet someone and you start feeling that you go out of yourself, you start losing yourself, so you go out of your own normal vibration, and I will explain to you what this means, it means that you are dealing with a low vibe person. Now, how we can understand this? We can understand this because this has some effects on us in this moment. Okay. The effect when we start going out of our own vibration is usually two, three things happen. Hello, Daniela from Constanza, always present in these live streams. I suppose you understand the value of this kind of teachings that we share. Nice to see you here. So, uh, there are two, three things that are happening when we are in cooperation or cooperation, communication with a low vibe person. We start losing our own vibration, we are influenced and um, unconsciously two, three things happen. One thing is we start feeling some kind of low energy ourselves. Suddenly we don't feel very well. This is a sign. So you start talking with somebody and you start feeling not very well. Of course, it is possible that you don't feel well from some other reason, like you just ate something bad before, or something like that. Or um, there are other reasons, for example, something in the morning has happened and you are influenced and it hits you in this moment that you meet somebody. So you have to differentiate that you start feeling bad because of the meeting, because of this moment. For example, if you were very fine, and then you meet somebody and instantly you start feeling not good and you realize that somehow it comes from the other person, then this is a case that the other person has low vibration. One. So how, what it means we don't feel very well? You start feeling somehow of something like tired, drained from energy and some kind of dark state. Like you start feeling some kind of, like I don't feel well, like darkness in my mind okay like a negative state hello marius another thing is that you may have some physical symptoms for example pain pressure headache uh, some kind of you know symptom in your body uh, contraction in your abdomen and so on and uh, you physically feel Discomfort, for example, maybe you will feel, uh, you can observe also your uh, posture. Usually, in these cases, your posture may change and your posture becomes from open and relaxed like this. Uh, you can have a contraction in your stomach and your body 
curves like this a bit, your legs may become crossed and squeezed, your hands may become like this, your, because your body may feel and start reacting. Okay, and you need to become aware of this. Uh, also, you can observe that your body start doing some kind of nervous movements. Hello, Elena. Um, if also your body is doing some kind of nervous movements in front of this person and you feel this kind of discomfort or you are moving and you feel uncomfortable, you may be dealing with a low vibration person. Now, there is also something else I will tell you after. Because this topic is very big and I will not be able to explain everything in one video like this. What is important for you is to understand that anyway something is happening to you. Okay, And, and another very important case that uh, it will make you feel, hello Alexandra, that you are dealing with a low vibe person is when you are entering in a role that you don't want to enter. Okay, you don't want to enter in this role and you are entering in this role. What does this mean? It means you start doing things that are not what you want to do. Let's say the person tells you, you start conversating and in some moment the, the person tells you, let's sit in the corner and drink a coffee. And you say, yes, yes, okay. And you do it without you wanting. And inside of you in the same time, you start feeling, what am I doing? Why I said yes, I, I don't want to do this, but somehow I'm obliged to do this. Or maybe the person starts giving you some small orders. Can you please pass me, I don't know, a glass of water? Can you please bring me a glass of water from the kitchen or something, anything, right? And you cannot say no and immediately say yes, sure, and you do it. Or the person tells you, you know, we should uh, meet and talk more often, let's say, or to talk about something specific. And you say, yes, sure. When inside of you, for example, you have another answer. No, no, I, would, I don't want to meet you tomorrow again or after tomorrow. But externally, you do the opposite of what you want. There are many, like hundreds of different possible examples of how this could play out. But in this moment, what is important for you is to catch that you are not behaving as normally you are. You start behaving in a kind of subservient way or reactive way. Subservient way means you start agreeing, like you feel like you are under the influence of this person, like under the spell of this person, and you start behaving like you are obliged to agree and to please and to say, you know, to satisfy this person. And you have a feeling like you are a servant of this person. And you are going to say yes to everything. It's a feeling. You may not do it in the end, but it's a feeling somehow that you become smaller. Okay. One. Another uh, possibility is the exact opposite. You start becoming angry, nervous, and negative yourself. And reactive. Also, this is a, a, a sign... For example, without no reason, you start becoming angry with the situation, with the person, with yourself, with everybody. It's like from somewhere you are losing, I don't know, your vital energy. Like you are losing something, you start getting upset, nervous, frustrated. And you are like this and you want to do something, you don't know what, because there is no obvious reason. right? And you start being reactive. For example, the person tells you... Uh, what do you think about this? And you are like angry, upset, and you say, yeah, yeah, this, or I don't know, I don't care about this. And you start becoming like negative yourself. And in, inside of you, you realize that what is going on? Why I'm like this? I don't want to be like this, but I am. Now, I explained you a couple of situations that could play out. You have to, to catch that this is happening to you. So when all these kind of things are happening to you, Senses are that you are dealing with a low vibration person or 
you are dealing with, it's another case, but we're not talking about this, but I want to refer to this. You are dealing with a person that has a very specific vibration that reacts with your vibration and creates in you negative, like low vibration, right? For example, um, let's say if you have inside of you a trauma that, um, you know, you were manipulated from in your previous relationship from someone who was I don't know, very polite and always agreeing with you and doing, always saying yes to you. And through this, you couldn't escape this relationship because you were feeling obliged to stay and stay and you suffered from this. Like I'm just giving you a, an example. And you meet a very polite but more than normal person who is subservient to you and start agreeing to everything that you say, it may reactivate like a memory or a trauma from the past, and you may feel that it is something similar, and you want immediately to escape from the situation, but because there is nothing really bad happened externally, you cannot, you, there is no reason, it's like it can be in a social meeting, for example, and you don't have a reason to, you know, to behave badly, you have also inside of you this program to just met somebody, you cannot simply turn your back and leave and create a scene or something like that. And you are entering in this kind of low vibration yourself because it activates a low vibration that you experienced in the past. Okay, In all these cases, and there could be many, 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 many scenarios that you suddenly in a communication with someone, you start feeling nervous, low, tired, angry, you know, weak, and so on, you need to know that a karmic scenario is activated. Okay. Normally, if you are a spiritual person and you want really to evolve spiritually, this is a great moment, actually. It is a great moment because in this moment, you can realize that a karmic pattern is at, at place. Your karmic pattern as well. For example, the fact that you react in a bad way, you f your vibration becomes low and you feel bad, it means that all the patterns of the other person or the low vibration of the other person activates some karmic pattern inside of you, this unconscious reactivity. For example, there, are, there is a very common, simple situation example that is happening. Uh, you meet someone in the street. You start talking and after one or two minutes you already you feel that uh, you want to go like you are losing energy you want to go and you cannot go and it's like you are hooked or trapped standing there and listening and talking to this person and this goes on for five maybe ten minutes and from the first 30 seconds you are like nervous you want to go and you cannot do it you cannot say simply i have to go it's like the person has hooked your attention with you without you wanting to do this. It's like he controls from somewhere your energy and you are like trapped like this and you cannot move. You cannot make even one step. And instead of saying something to try to escape, you simply agree and you say, mm -hmm, aha, yes, sure. And inside of you, you are like suffering at the same time. Oh my God, what to do? How can I escape? I need to go. I need to run. And, but you cannot do that. Yes, this is a very simple thing. It's not that really something bad, terrible happens to you. But it's a common uh, scenario that happens to, to people. Happens to everyone. And in this moment, we need to understand that there are this kind of hundreds of situations that play out differently. Yes, um, it can be that the other person has low vibration. It can be that uh, it activates some unconscious pattern in you and you become unconscious. Okay, the, the point here is that this is a very good experience because it shows you that you are not perfect as well. Although the other person seems to initiate this situation and the other person seems that has the low vibration or the negative vibration or the intense vibration that anyway influence you badly, why you cannot deal with it is the question. A spiritual person, for example, would always 
except if it is an extreme case and it is dangerous for you to stay there, uh, you should observe yourself and you should, in this moment, make a spiritual practice. Which personality in me or which part inside of me is now trapped and is reacting? Why I don't control myself? Why the vibe of the other person controls me? Right? Why I becoming angry? Why I becoming sad? Why I becoming tired from the energy of the other person? And you have to study yourself in this moment. You have to look inside yourself, observe what is happening aesthetically. It is called aesthetic contemplation in spirituality, this process. You need to do aesthetic contemplation and in a very subtle way, observe internally what, how the energy is moving. Like what your mind is saying, what this reminds you from the past, what pattern is activated what kind of role you start playing. For example, in some cases, the person enters in a role like he's the kid and the other person is the angry parent. And you feel scared from the energy of the other person. Or you feel that the other person will judge you or they will, he will laugh at you or something. There are many cases. Okay. And because it is also your karmic pattern, in this moment you have an opportunity to work with yourself and become aware of the karmic pattern that you have. Now, this happens all the time, or many times, if you will observe it. This happens many times in our life. And you will say, what, I will be doing this the rest of my life? Yes, usually this happens like during our whole life from time to time, because actually we don't really work with our karmic patterns like in society, when we meet people. And usually when many times happens something like this, after we just want to avoid meeting this person. We don't want to solve our karmic pattern, but to avoid the situation. This is why, generally, when we become grown-ups and we start socializing from teenagers and further, the more we live in society, the more or we evolve and we become capable of dealing with people and low vibes, or we start isolating ourselves after a few years and in the end we are tired from this kind of energetic you know, phenomenon that happens when we meet a lot of people or other people in general in society and we isolate somewhere, we live a more you know, confined life and we communicate less and less and less. So you need to, I will repeat what you have to do. First of all, you have to become aware that this is happening. Because sometimes um, we are not aware, we are aware that this is happening after. Okay, so we have a communication and after, the next day, after a few hours, we discuss with our friend and we say, you know, I met this person and oh my God, I feel bad after that. Yes, and passed already a few hours. So the first thing is to be aware in the more and more during the communication Immediately after, or during is the best, or absolutely the best, is before you start communicating with somebody. Just by looking at someone, you can become instantly aware that something is off energetically, and try to avoid the communication until you observe this person and you observe what kind of energy this person has. Don't enter in communication with people unconsciously. Okay, this is the first. Now, it can happen to you that before you observe this person, it, like you just meet or you are introduced to someone, right? And uh, you are caught in this moment a bit unconscious. Mechanically, you are introduced to somebody and after this starts happening. And you're like, oh my God, now I'm trapped again, right? The moment you realize that you are trapped, there are three things you can do. The one thing, the most simple, but it is not solving the problem permanently, but momentarily it can solve it, is to find an excuse and leave the scene. You can speak, for example, for one minute, immediately you start feeling something is off here, I don't want to talk, just find any opportunity, excuse me, I need to go to the restroom or something like this, or excuse me, uh, we will talk in a while, but I'm expecting a very important phone call. Or I need to call somebody. I just remember I had a meeting and I have to call someone. 
I will I will talk to you immediately after and play this kind of role that you need instantly to do something very urgent and leave. A very good excuse is always the restroom, right? Or a, a phone call or something important. Um, this is why. So you leave the scene and then you can observe after after you leave. You can take some space for you. Literally, you can go to the bathroom. And observe what is happening, why you feel bad, what you should do. And it's more easy when you are alone to observe this than to be able to process this while the other the communication is already happening. Okay. Um, in me, it has happened in my life in some cases, this was happening. And I remember two, three cases that I would go a little bit. And then I remember now specifically one case, I realized that I should not be there in this meeting, in this gathering. It was a gathering, for example. And I met a couple of people. It was uh, it's like I didn't have anything to do there. I arrived somehow accidentally or because I let this happen to me. And then in some moment I met somebody who had a very low vibration and I started immediately feeling, oh my God, now I have to talk with him. I left. I, I followed this first advice. I went a bit aside. I went to the bathroom. And then I, I I was observing myself, I was observing all this meeting, and I realized, what am I doing here? Why I came here? And instantly I went, because I have gone with a person who, you know, I followed somebody. I went to this person, I said, look, I remember that this, I have something very important to do. Oh my God, I forgot it. And I have to go back home. It's okay, you stay here. I have to run to, I have a meeting or something like that. Or I have to send some emails. I have to to do something and yeah I just remember it now I have to go and I would leave now of course chances are sometimes the person in this case nothing happened the person could become like you know uh, would not like it oh come on you came here and now suddenly you leave it's okay if you have a good excuse you can do that like a normal excuse not like I don't feel well then he can take it personally or I don't like it here Except if you just want to say the truth, but usually this, as I told you, this kind of things have to do also with your karmic pattern. So if you want to be sincere and say, you know, I want to live because there is a low vibration here and I don't feel well and I don't like these people, it will be offensive basically and it will not be the absolute truth. Although it will be for you the truth in this moment, but I don't recommend to, to say the truth like this, you know. When you feel, for example, that uh, you don't feel well in the communication with the other person, to want to be sincere and tell, you know, I don't like you or your vibration is low and I'm leaving. Yeah, because many times, sometimes, or many times, it is your reactivity as well or your own karmic patterns that react. Okay. Another strategy, except leaving, is to, for a while, to mirror exactly the other person. This can give you a little bit of space because usually when you start reacting, it's like you are losing yourself. Yes? But instead of... And, and so you don't know what to do and you start reacting. Instead of reacting, one strategy is to mirror exactly what the person is doing. If the person is saying something, you can mirror his energy. You don't have to agree necessarily with what the person is saying because sometimes... One type of low vibration is, let's say, the people to criticize others or to say bad things in general. So mirroring doesn't mean that you start saying the same thing or agreeing with this person. But mirroring can be like to, you know, maybe to agree without saying anything, like to move your head and say, mm, yeah, right, I understand, uh -huh, and so on. Or if the person is like, aggressive or angry or nervous and he speaks nervously you can enter uh, like mirror this energy and become also nervous and do something like that and say and say some simple things but this will give you some space and in some cases this work the mirroring works and the other person is like stops to do this it becomes a bit more aware or he's aware that you suddenly change i don't recommend to do it suddenly and it to be very obvious but internally first you need to start mirroring and then if it is something more intense eventually you need to rise your energy and vibrate in a similar way now sometimes this can create 
it, it can create a fact that, for example, you don't lose a lot of energy, you don't become totally the victim of this communication, but it may tire you to mirror for a long time somebody. So this also works momentarily. You cannot do this for a long time. You can do it for a few minutes, for example, in, until you find some space inside of you, because the mirroring is mechanical, but it is not unconscious. This is the difference. So, I repeat, the difference between mirroring and simply reacting, it is that reacting is unconscious and tiring. Mirroring is not unconscious because you choose to do it. You In this moment you are aware and you start doing it. And this gives you a little bit of space in your consciousness to be able to observe and think what to do further. It, it gives you some space. And the third solution, which is the best, but it is the most difficult and you need to train, is what is called counter defense. It is a kind of esoteric martial art. It's an art of how to communicate uh, in the right way in different kind of low vibrations. Um, I cannot give you this teaching now in this moment. I gave you already enough information to you can use these first two uh, strategies because they both work. The third, you need to study it. If you are interested to study esoteric martial arts, I invite you to the next two camps that we are doing in Bustani in Romania, where we will practice this, and also uh, in Egypt, where we will practice this. And there is another thing you can do is the other thing you can do is to concentrate in the most uh, strong chakra that you have. The fact of concentrating in something else than the person which is in front of you will help you to not become influenced. Okay, so usually this kind of uh, situations happen through some kind of exchange of energy through the chakras. Now, again, more specifically, if you want to study this and learn how to do it, uh, you need to come to the, our events. But in general, the communication happens through chakra. For example, the person may tell you negative things, negative words, criticism, or he may have physical, physically low energy. His body emanates low energy, somebody who is sick. Or emotionally, he may have aggressivity or sorrow or sadness or regret. Um, or feeling self-pity or something else. Sometimes there are mental tricks that are happening and you are hooked by mental tricks. Sometimes the person comes emotionally and he is begging you to, you know, to stay with him and talk to him. There are many specific situations and um, you need to observe in which chakra is influenced in this moment. Yes. And uh, in this moment, you can focus to observe your chakras where it is influenced and move your attention to the chakra, which is for you the most strong. Let's say you are influenced emotionally, you feel frustration in your heart or in your stomach. And let's say your stronger uh, chakra is the fifth chakra or the sixth, let's say like this. So in this moment you start bringing your attention here and the person is telling you oh, like this in complex and you maybe start saying some story, a joke or you concentrate in your Ajna Chakra and you start uh, you know, remembering some something that you read in a book, some advice, something else. Anyway, you are not caught emotionally in this moment. Or simply the fact that you concentrate in another Chakra and you are concentrated inside of you, it gives a space between you and the other person in this moment, which will make the effect of the uh, influence of the low vibration of the other person much less, at least half. So you will, even if you will stay there and talk for 15 minutes, after finishing, you will not be so destroyed, you will be like much less. You will feel that you hold it one part of your energy, like you you were controlling your attention a bit. It, although your body received the low vibe or your emotions, 
and you are a little bit frustrated after the communication, but it will not be like this kind of complete, as if when you would not do that. Okay, so I gave you a lot of tricks and things to do. I know it is just a video. If you want to remember all these things, you need to watch it again. If you watch this video in a replay, please write that you watch it in a replay. Put the like in the video to help us give you more knowledge. Help the algorithm to favor us a bit. Um, if you have any question, you can put it in the comments about what we are speaking here. And because I gave you a lot of information, I will not repeat all of them. Just the fact that first you need to start by becoming aware of the low vibration, if possible, before the communication starts. If possible, immediately when it starts. If possible, immediately after a while. If possible, immediately after it finishes. The faster you become aware of the low vibration, it means that you are more aware, so you have more chances to act. If you are not aware, then you become aware that you feel bad after, and you have negative thoughts about this person or something like that. Okay, this is like the worst of the situations, because you already have negativity yourself, and you lost a lot of energy. How to do this? You need always in communication with other people to be more present, to not communicate mechanically, out of habits and out of programs with anybody. Second, if you feel that you start being reactive in a bad way for you, it's like you are not yourself anymore, or you are upset, negative, angry, or you are somehow subservient to the other person, and it's like you, are, you don't recognize how you behave, this is also a sign of this kind of low vibration that caught you. The second thing was this. The third thing is to also not blame the other person inside your consciousness, because when you blame, you become negative, low vibration yourself. Blame is connected with negativity. But to understand that this kind of situation that you were in, it's a karmic pattern also for you. There is some karma in you, some kind of uh, pattern in you that allows you, in a negative way, to start playing a kind of scene. It's like you are playing a scene in a theater with other person, where you are the victim, victimized by his energy or something like that, and you feel bad. And you cannot escape from this kind of scenario. It's like a scenario in which, which is activated. Okay, this is also very important, because if you will understand this, as I said before, as a spiritual person, you can write down these scenarios that, if they are often also, is more important, and realize that these scenarios are your karmic patterns that you need to get rid of and transcend if you want to grow spiritually. And if you want to master also the communication and learn specific scenarios, how to, in all these details, how to interact and how to counterattack, how to, when to live when to mirror and how to do this in details, please come to our next events. That's it. Thank you very much for being in this live stream. I will see you in the next live stream. Until then, stay hungry for motivation and knowledge and stay strong. Enjoy your evening. Bye-bye.